What's up everybody, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMR Gaming and today guys I'm bringing you a new Brute Force Save Data 474 tutorial on how to add your disk hash key to your game conf and what it allows you to do. So I know that a couple of you guys had emailed me months ago about the disk hash key situation where you're adding your disk hash key, especially for new games, to your game conf file and it's giving you an error where it's asking you to decrypt a uh, elf file so i want to explain to you guys exactly what's going on and why that pops up so before i actually jump into that i want to thank brute force save data community for obviously making brute force save data and they helped me a lot so i advise you guys to sign up to their reform so that you guys can get the help when it comes to brute force save data plus they're the ones who provide me the disk hash keys for all the latest games that's coming out. So you may want to go check them out and sign up and get an account. So any games that's coming out on PlayStation 4 and it's on PlayStation 3 and just and you have a PlayStation 3 and you want to decrypt that save and add cheats, you usually get the disk hash keys from those guys and then you should be able to add it to your game comp file so you can decrypt the save. So since that's out of the way, let's actually jump into the tutorial right now. So first things first, I'm, my brute force save data is already open. Give me one second. Okay, so it's open already. And as you guys can see, you see where it says key right here in this tab and all these numbers going down? These are your disk hash keys. And what this allows you to do is decrypt your save. Now, as you guys can see already, I have prototype highlighted, right? And there is no disk hash key, so it's unprotected. And with that being said, I cannot decrypt this save. You see the button is shaded gray, encrypt, PFD is shaded gray. So that is exactly what happens when you do not have a disk hash key for a game. You will not be able to decrypt the save. So that's why it's important to have a disk hash key for your save so you can decrypt it. Second of all, let's get this question out of the way because I know you guys been asking me a long time ago, about this whole disk hash key and how to install it. So let's say you go on brute force save data and you get a disk hash key for a new game and you need to install it to your game comp file. You can do this two ways. The first, I'm gonna show you the brute force save data way when you have the program open to install the disk hash key. You just go to any save, highlight it, right click, go to settings, open up game.com file, right? And it opens up in Notepad. And all you do when you get the disk hash key for that game, especially the new games, you come in here, you scroll to the very bottom, you copy and paste, and then you would hit either File, Save, or Save As. Either or would do the trick. And then after that, you close this out, you close out Brute Force, you run it as admin, and then you should be able to decrypt the save. Now, I'm going to get to question number two. And then this is especially for new games that's recently about to come out or just came out. And I'm going to use Metal Gear Solid 5 Fan of Pain for this example. When Metal Gear Solid Fan of Pain came out with the disk hash key, a lot of people was going to add the disk hash key to their com file, which I just showed you. And after you add the game com file and you try to brute force it, right, it, it's press F6 in the option tab. So if you guys are asking me what's brute force, you see right here, F6, and you would click it, right? It would ask you, please decrypt a uh, ELF file, E-L-F file, right? And you're saying, Mr. You Know Who, where do I get that from? So I believe the L5 is a decrypted eboot. And for those who don't know what an eboot is, it's usually a file that's inside the actual game that allows it to boot up. Like boot up. Like as you know, like you hit the disk and it goes and loads up the game. There's an L file that's on that disk or on that PlayStation Network folder that would allow the game to start up. That's what you need, but it needs to be decrypted. So with that being said. You don't really go and get an L file when that pops up. What's happening is that when you install the new key, right? Phantom, I'm using Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain, and it kept saying, um, 
you need that L file, right? Two things is happening. One, you don't really need the L file. Two, um, brute force save that is acting a little weird and buggy. So how to counter that situation, which I've done many of times, what I had to do is go inside my game com file right here. So I'll go back to settings, show you how to open it again, right? And I would have to come down and delete the key for Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain, reinstall it, save, or save as, either, either or does the trick, and then close out the program, rerun as admin, and keep trying. Yes, I've done it like maybe 10, 15 times, maybe 20, where it kept asking me for that L file, even though I did everything right. It got to be patient. Just keep doing all the steps I just told you. Reinstall the key, close out brute force, run as admin. Double check to make sure that when you copy and paste the this hash key to your game con file, it's there, you know, because I don't know, sometimes it's acting gay, even though you did it, it's not there. So just keep trying and adding it and adding it and adding it, and eventually it will work. And you should then be able to decrypt the save and then that elf thing or the elf message was asking for the elf file would just disappear. So patience is a virtual. Trust me. I've done it many and many a times. I know what you guys go through, but trust me, just keep adding the key, close the program, run as admin, open again, try to brute force that save. And like I said, this is especially for newer games. So you, you want, you can just get the key. Now I want to address another issue, especially with this key. If brute force save data gives you a key, this hash key, that's what I'm talking about, and it's for a Euro game, but you have the US version of the game, right? That necessarily doesn't mean that that this hash key doesn't work. It just means they're giving you the this hash key for the Euro. So I'm going to use Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain as that prime example. So I had the PlayStation Network, right? And brute force provided me with the euro this base this hash key when i put it in right and i was able to decrypt my actual playstation network save using the actual this hash keys from metal gear solid 5 fan of pain so don't think that because you get a this hash key that's a this base game it won't work a with a euro not a Euro, sorry, US disk space game or the US PlayStation Network. That's not how it works. Once you actually get the disk hash key, no matter if it's Euro or um, US, doesn't really matter, it should be able to decrypt that particular game, no matter what region it is. So I want you guys to know that from now because I see a lot of times you guys asking me for a Euro or US or US and Euro this hash key doesn't matter as long as you have a this hash key that is the right this hash key for that right game you can just use that and then it will automatically add that this hash key that you're missing for that version of the game and you should be good the only thing that's going to change would be the actual region like right here that's us um playstation network version if i go up as you guys can see right here, that's the Euro disk based version, but the key is the same thing, right? And the key is the same thing here. So there's no difference in keys. So like I said, you should be able to decrypt your safe and then you're good to go. Now, the second thing I'm going to show you, or the third thing, I forgot where I left off at, is how do I actually do this the manual way when i when i said the manual way how do i go to my game com file from my computer without going inside a brute force save data so all you need to do is hit the start button go to the computer c drive and program um oh so sorry program file 86 and there you go brute force save data and you're looking for your game com file because you scroll down all right. Did I pass it? I think I did. Hold on. Give me one second. Going up, going up, going up. 
I think it's this right here. So as you guys can see, it says games, column file. I'm going to click on this. And there you go. That's it right there. So if you want to do this the manual way and just go inside of brute force saved out of the actual file and add your disk hash key, you could do it this way. So I just showed you both ways. One with the program open when it automatically just goes to and you select it from brute force. And then you just go inside your computer to the actual folder and go on inside of brute force save that's folder and actually go to go get your game conf file. And that's pretty much it. Now, as always, guys, I provide you. Well, let me take that back. I'm now providing you with my game conf file. So anytime a new game comes out, all you got to do, if you want, is go to your brute force save data inside your actual program 86 and just drag and drop my games comp file and replace yours. And mine's normally, oops, so sorry, normally would have all the latest games that came out. And pretty much that this hash key for that particular game which should be added in there. And then you could just brute force yours depending on what region you have. And that's pretty much it to adding your disk hash key to your game con file. And there's nothing more, nothing less about it. Like I said before, game con file, uh, sorry, disk hash key allows you to decrypt your say. Without it, you cannot decrypt it. And if you try to verify PFD without a key, it's just going to keep being read until you get that key. And that's like the fourth error you can encounter. So... It is very important to have a disk hash key when you're decrypting a save. And like I said before, if you need a disk hash key, you can hit me up. I'll try to get it for you. If not, go sign up to Brute Force Save Data Reforms, and they can help you over there. But as always, this is Mr. You Know Who from XMR Gaming. Check out my gaming channel. I'm going to be making more videos, tutorials for Brute Force Save Data. So if there's a particular question you want me to answer, no problem. I hope you out. Again, um, I don't have every answer for brute force save data, but I have most of the answers because I use it on a regular. So, you know, hit me up. As always, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. Thank you for watching my channel, my videos. If you like this video, give it a thumb up. And as always, peace.